Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Joel Marcus, executive chairman and founder of Alexandria. Welcome and good evening, everybody. Um, congratulations to the winners and the participants and all those associated with pre-Galian. But I'm actually here to give you a different message tonight. Um, I started in the industry back in 1983, uh, helping finance erythropoietin. But this year, America's most hated industry is the pharmaceutical industry. It unseated the federal government as America's most hated industry. Ranking last of the 25 industries of a recent Gallup survey, the industry is now the most po poorly regarded industry in the eyes of Americans. Americans are more than twice as likely to rate the industry negatively as positively. This year marks the lowest rating of the pharmaceutical industry has had since the Gallup poll started in 2001. A far cry from when Roy Vagelis was, and Merck was Company of the Year and CEO of the Year many years ago. Pharma's damaged reputation as acknowledged bad actors. Say the word Big Pharma and the immediate reaction is not life-saving discoveries, but instead it's shaped like drug costs, prescription drug abuse, corporate greed, and the opioid uh, crisis, not where we want to be. And despite the good intentions of the majority, vast majority of pharmaceutical companies, a few class cast, a shout, cast a cloud on the rest. What is the reality today? In the world today, the search for cures and treatments relies on this industry. When diagnosed with an illness, the pharmaceutical industry offers not just hope to people, but extra years of life and a better quality of life. The work being done by people in this room, mission-driven and life-changing, is critical. We're in the business of saving and changing lives. The industry has shown potential to radically and positively impact society. Cures, polio, measles, hepatitis C. What we need today, and I hope each and every one of you listen, not to me, but just to the words, we need to change the public perception of this industry immediately. We need to do that in our everyday interactions with the average American each and every day. We need to be proactive and be on our congressmen, whether it's Democratic, Republican, libertarian or whatever, we need to be on those people incessantly. We need to increase access and affordability, and that's up to each and every company to do that. We can't wait. And we need to figure out if a third of the population is on Medicare and two-thirds are either self-insured or under private pay, and we've got that gap to 8 to 10 percent of the population who are uninsured, they, that should not drive the conversation by the politicians. The private insurance market and the Medicare market ought to partner with industry to figure out how we can provide at least a minimum Medicaid level of benefits to the uninsured in this country that takes away their biggest lever. We've got a lot of work to do in addition to working on the great science we do every day. This is the po political fight of our life, and we damn well can't lose it. Thank you.